So when you come to CamDraw Professional and you come to File Menu, there are many things to play around here. But you see that the first thing is New Document. However, you can always come to Open Style Sheet and you can see many kinds of documents that you can open including our new document each one has different things that they do each one has different fixed length bold width line width margin width hash spacing chain angle bond spacing atom label font so each one has different things so for instance new document is selected if you come to document settings these are selected these are predefined for you but if you come to open style sheet all these are formats that some journals and some books require so they have preset parameters for instance if you choose let's say if you choose a cs document it has fixed length of 14.4 so you can check if you need those if you're using nature research so if you're going to publish in the nature you should probably choose this and it has set parameters that goes along with it okay and you can also open template so these are predefined templates that chemdraw already provides if you want to let's say choose the dna template and from the dnn template you can choose whichever one that you need but this you don't you don't have to draw it from scratch it already gives you this template you can play around with that you can also come in and let's say play around with some of these and just see which one that you need and you can select it so if you choose functional groups there you go you don't you don't have to come in and draw it because it's already provided for you however you can also come in and use the main toolbar to draw it so that is something to also note which is the template so they are aromatics you can come in and have them immediately rather than drawing them from scratch and also they are inbuilt samples that chemdraw provides so for instance if you want a cell structure this is it and it already gives you designs or design in like a real formatted way you can come in and also edit once you click once it brings this pop-up you just go to proceed to make a copy where you can edit and now you can maybe move this around or delete it or add other structures so this can become like a foundation for you to build maybe for you there's a foreign material that comes in and disrupts something you can just edit it over here so there are other inbuilt samples that you can play around uh yeah and it's it's interesting and you can always play around with this so let's try one more so depending on what you need and you can come in and play around with this let's try this one so yeah this gives you kind of like a reaction so from this reaction it moves to this reaction and it could go this way or this way so it kind of goes in like a cyclic way that is that is something cool to note you can always edit it you can maybe change bonds you can play around and make it very interesting and it's, it's gonna be helpful another thing to note is you can also have a lot of preferences when you come to file and head to preferences there are so many things that can be done here now over here you can you have your general preferences so you can change the unit to point so let's say we change it to point okay and as i was saying this is new document now in a new document we are going to document settings okay and now we see 30 point 12 
one two so it gives you these points right if we also come to let's change the style let's change it to acs document and then come to document settings right so now you see it's 14.4 instead of 30 and it gives us different points in there so that was what i was talking about and you can also change that in preferences so you can change it from point to maybe centimeters and, and all that stuff you can also add tolerances so preferences is also something very useful and it will help you kind of customize your interface you can add one as i think you should leave everything checked and open and save is also important you can enable auto save you can enable auto recovery change the time and all that so it's it's quite important and you should keep that the other thing is to also save um go to the page setup so from the page setup you can also set your page you can make it an a4 whichever paper size because maybe you want to print and it will make it easy for you can also change all these change it to landscape and and all that so it's something cool to to note yeah let me pull up um let me pull up this one again so let's go to this one so auto numbering reaction is also very important so once you come over to file you can also come to document setting you can also add auto numbering to reactions so for instance this is reaction one where reaction two three you can come in and just um, select either roman or so that's a numeric style arabic alphabetic and just hit ok and mind you i chose this from creatine synthesis right yeah creatine synthesis so let's go to proceed when you come you just you can select all of it you can choose the marquee tool or you can also go to select and go to select all it selects everything or you can choose this one and just drag it all around it or whatever that you need and go to structure and from structure you select auto number reaction so it just numbers the reaction one and and all of it for you so these are numbered for you and you can drag them around as well and change it and if you want to remove it all you can also select or again and this time go to edit and or undo auto number reaction and it goes away 